Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What is up, guys, and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. This is a new segment I want to call Pro Tip Tuesdays. Pro tips, it'll be on Tuesdays. Boom! I like that. I like the sound of Pro Tip Tuesdays with Johnny Q. I like it. The first Pro Tip Tuesday of the year, how to upload a thumbnail to YouTube. Okay, so before I upload or make anything regarding my thumbnail, what I like to do is take a high quality picture of what I'm doing in the moment. So this is what it is before, and boom, after. I've made all the final edits. I like the edit, it's gonna work as my thumbnail, so let's move on. And there's two ways of doing this. The first way is this. You can right click, export. These are my settings, image format is JPEG. I will go right into my desktop so I can actually just see it on the desktop and it's easy to find. Quality is 100, color space sRGB, resolution 300 pixels per inch, and that's all I do. And then I finally export it. And boom, there is my picture. Here is the thing with YouTube thumbnails. They have to be under two megabytes, I believe. And if you press Command I, this picture is 6.7 megabytes. That is a big picture for YouTube. So what you wanna do is resize it to less than two megabytes. You can either do one of two things. You can either export it like what I just did here, and then open it in Photoshop or Illustrator, or you can also right click the same image, then you can actually edit in Photoshop, which you can do that as well. So what I will do is, is I will open up Adobe Illustrator because I use Adobe Illustrator for my thumbnails. I'll create a new file. This is where you have to resize your actual canvas. 1080 by 720, and that's the actual specifications for a high quality thumbnail for your videos. Width of 1080 pixels, height would be 720, and then I'll go create. Boom, and then this is what I do. I simply just drag, command tab, go to Illustrator, boom, and drop. And as you can see, it's way bigger than my actual canvas size. So what I'll do is resize edge to edge. I will bring the edge to the next edge here and boom, that is my picture. It's kept its quality, higher res photo and a 1080 by 720 canvas size image for my thumbnail. Next, what I wanna do is go up to file, then we'll go to export, export as, then I will say B-roll thumbnail and oh, thumbnail, if I can spell it correctly, as a PNG, I'll save it to the desktop as like I did before. I will export it, and this is where it, the resolution really takes place. If you set resolution to medium, 150 PPI, it will be over two megabytes. Same thing goes with high of 300 PPI. So what you wanna do is screen 72 PPI, optimal image size for thumbnails. Then you press okay and it will be exporting, and then you'll see the B-roll thumbnail PNG. Now when I press Command I, you'll see up here in the right-hand corner, right top-hand corner, 666 kick, kickabytes, kilobytes? Kick, kilobytes. And then you go to YouTube, you go to the Upload tab, you upload your video, you drag and drop from your desktop or your folder, whatever you kept your video in, and then See how it says maximum file size is two megabytes? Good thing we filed our big, massive file to under two megabytes. So go to custom thumbnail, and then you'll go to the B-roll thumbnail, whatever you chose to call it. Now it is in the red box, and that means it is good to go, which means you have a successful, successful thumbnail upload, and then from there, you can fill in your title, and your description, your tabs, and all that stuff. And it will actually work from there, so. Boom, there you have it. I hope this helps you in your journey of YouTube creation videos. If you already know this, good for you. If you don't, I'm glad you learned something. Hopefully you learned something from this video and I hope it helped you. But I will catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace.